Hey folks, Raging Pooh here, bringing you a new deck today of my own design. Here we have a Simic Partners Storm List. Uh, but before I talk about this deck and what it does, I'd like to briefly discuss its origins. So when I originally wanted to make a Storm List, I made this one. We have a Thracios and Timna 4 color Storm List. Uh, it's pretty highly optimized, uh, pretty low to the ground, very fast, very powerful deck, and I enjoyed playing it a lot. But after putting in a few games with it, uh, quite a few, uh, I wanted to see how good some of these cards were in a suboptimal shell. Uh, namely, Aetherflux Reservoir and Paradox Engine. So I made this deck, the Mono Green Storm. And what it aims to do is float mana on Omnath, making him a large creature, mm -hmm. then use various green draw card spells to draw a ton of cards, hopefully mm -hmm. drawing into Aetherflux Reservoir, mm -hmm. Paradox Engine, and a bunch of fast artifact mana, uh, ending the game with by generating a lot of storm, or drawing a bunch of cards with Psychosis Crawler in play, or killing with Crater Hoof Behemoth. Uh, this deck is definitely not a tier list deck, it's uh, very casual. Uh, but it probably does pretty well in casual games. As a matter of fact, I've not lost very many games with it. But um, it's definitely not going to kill you on turn three. So I would I would not put it in a tier one or anywhere close list. Uh, but I'm not here today to talk about the mono green deck or the four color storm deck. I may cover the four color storm deck in the future. I may or may not cover this one. Uh, but today I want to talk about Simic Partners. Uh, the reason I brought up the other two decks first is because this one is somewhere in the middle. Uh, I also would not put this one at Tier 1. It's probably Tier 2, maybe Tier 3. Uh, it's pretty low to the ground as well. Uh, it's got only 28 lands in it. Some of you run probably closer in the range of 40 lands, depending on how new you are to the format or how casual your deck is. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, because what that says is that you should hit your fourth land drop on turn 4. That's what the math indicates with 40 lands. Uh, but a better rule of thumb, especially as decks start to get more competitive, is that you want around 40 total mana sources in your deck, which this one easily has covered, and about 48 through 50 mana producers. So what this deck aims to do is get fast artifact mana in play, hopefully with Paradox Engine, netting more mana off of each spell that you play, feeding that mana into an X mana draw card spell which will allow you to untap all of your artifacts, so you'll still have mana to play things with, and you will draw a ton more cards, so hopefully you have action. Uh, these X mana draw card spells work great in conjunction with Kaidel, because they allow you to create an, a large amount of colorless mana that you can channel into Thracios' ability. Once you have Mind Over Matter in play, and you've drawn a decent amount of cards this turn, and you have Kaidel and Thracios, then you can tap Kaidel to activate Thracios' ability, drawing more cards discarding some of those cards to Mind Over Matter to untap Kaidel, which will allow you to go essentially infinite. Um, it's not deterministic, because if you hit too many lands in a row, you will fizzle, which is another reason why we run the low land count over here. Uh, I guess I'll take this moment to discuss a few of the infinite mana combos in this deck, since I just got done talking about Mind Over Matter. So one is Isochron Scepter plus Dramatic Reversal. This, in conjunction with three or more artifact ramp, will allow you to generate an infinite amount of mana that you can channel into Thracios' ability. Also, with Mana Reflection and Basalt Monolith or Grim Monolith, you can tap and untap them an arbitrary number of times to generate a large amount of colorless mana that you can, again, channel into Thracios' ability, drawing the entire deck, playing a Laboratory Maniac, and winning the game. It's going to be very difficult for your opponents to fight through this, even if there are three of them, because they have to fight through mm -hmm. all of this counter magic that we run, which is Pact of Negation, mm -hmm. Mental Misstep, Swan Song, mm -hmm. Flusterstorm, Remand, mm -hmm. and Mana Drain. Even if there are four control decks at the table, chances are they will not be able to fight through all of these. They also have to get past Fury. That's another big important piece that I almost forgot a moment ago. So this deck also runs all of the wheel effects that make sense. We have Windfall, Time Twister, Time Spiral. You can also High Tide into Frantic Surge into Time Spiral, generate a ton of mana. Uh, the reason why we run all the wheel effects is because we'd like to play this fast artifact ramp, getting a bunch of mana in play. Then we refresh with a new hand. And if we are ahead on board of our opponents, it's a form of card advantage. 
Uh, this is essentially a blue-green draw card deck that, you know, intends to kill you with drawing cards itself with Psychosis Crawler, uh, playing cards to generate a lot of storm and kill it with Aetherflux Reservoir, or good old-fashioned Laboratory Maniac. Uh, when I first saw Aetherflux Reservoir, I knew that it was going to be impactful in this format. I knew it was going to be a great card in the right decks and become a staple. Uh, when I first saw this card, I was not as impressed. Uh, even though the effect is very powerful and very cool, uh, I just thought 5 mana was too much for a spell like this. Uh, I realize while I'm saying that that I have a ton of giant spells in my deck, but generally speaking, 5 mana is a lot for a spell. Um, through testing though, I've realized that it is easily worth it. Uh, this card is awesome. Uh, I used to have Omniscience in this deck, but I cut Omniscience because in reality, Paradox Engine is a better Omniscience. Yes, I'm saying that. Uh, crazy, right? It's half the cost and it's colorless. Better than Omniscience. The reason being is I have these X mana draw card spells and Paradox Engine just works better with those. Um, I, I realize that's a bold statement, but you'll see as you watch the games how powerful this effect is and how it's probably more powerful than, than Omniscience. Uh, so what am I forgetting here? Honestly, I could spend I could spend hours talking about this deck, but let's just watch some games. <laughs> 